I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. In the physical world, you may have seen signs on businesses that say, no shirt, no shoes, no service. But in the digital world, you can sit at home in your underwear and go to that company's website, but still not get what you want due to a denial of service attack or a distributed denial of service attack. So let's light up some of the basics about DOS and DDoS attacks. So first, you know, denial of service is, is, you know, essentially any sort of attack that makes the web application or the website not respond in, in an appropriate manner. It becomes slow or sluggish or non-responsive altogether. Now, first, the difference between DOS and DDoS. So um, a DOS attack would just be a single computer to a single application and uh, this is either flooding it or um, doing some other malicious activity and you know this website starts to or this web server um, <clears throat> starts to not respond. In a distributed denial of service attack instead of a single box you now have multiple boxes bots that are out there bo a botnet for instance and now all of these are uh, targeting that particular application. Now there's three kinds of DDoS attacks. The first one, and you're probably most familiar with, is what's called a volumetric, V-O-L, volumetric attack. And so a volumetric attack looks like this. So first uh, you got your bad guy, out here, there we go, bad guy. The bad guy connects to his command and control servers. Now from these command and control servers, they then go out to all of their infected machines. And these machines could be around the world and infected with you know any sorts of malware that these guys have decided to um, infect these PCs with, or servers with, or laptops, or what have you. Devices, it could even be IoT devices, your thermostat. We'll talk a little bit about that after. And then, so command and control, and then within here is just thousands and thousands of servers. Now all of these, all at once, then come to oh, volumetric, here's your application, and then they flood the application. And essentially a volumetric attack is kind of like a bandwidth attack. They just flood it with a whole bunch of bandwidth, filling up your pipe so that then the applications, not only the servers are overloaded, but then your bandwidth, your connection is overloaded and no traffic is able to pass. These occur in about 65 percent of DDoS attacks or the volumetrics. And you can think about things like uh, ICMP or UDP floods. P UDP floods for your volumetric attacks. Now certainly you could add more bandwidth, um, but that's kind of defeating the purpose. You're spending money when you could really be um, sanitizing some of this traffic. So volumetric attacks. The second type, let's put a here and a two would be a protocol protocol attack sometimes called a traffic attack and this is where they target layer three and layer four access with like tcp udp icmp you might have heard um, things like a ping of death is what's called a protocol attack or a packet flood now in this instance your uh infected computer doink, 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 will send, and this is your application here. So in this situation, this will uh, send what's called, in this particular instance, a spoofed 
uh, spoofed SYN packet, S-Y-N packet. So playing on how TCP works with the, um, with the SYNs and the SYN acts, the acknowledgements of the, um, the request. And so in this instance, you send a bunch of spoofed SYNs and this guy just keeps responding with SYNAX, SYNAC, SYNAC, SYNAC. And because it's now responding to all these spoofed requests, it's uh, memory fills up. It just becomes unresponsive over time. So that when a, when a good box comes in, um, they get no service. So that would be a protocol attack focusing on layers uh, three and four. These probably, uh, if I remember correctly, about 20% of the time um, on how these kind of get distributed out. And then last, uh, but certainly not least, because it can be um, quite detrimental, is an application uh, DDoS attack. Application, T-I-O-N. Now in an application attack, the bad guys, I kind of like this as my new bad guy, the bad, the infected PC. So he passes right by the access zone, we'll call this. So, you know, firewalls and routers and switches and DMZ and auth and so forth. And then you get your uh, VLAN into your next tier, your app tier. And in this instance, these would be your apps. In an application uh, type attack, they will go past the layers three and four in your access zone, get to your application zone and do things like database calls, a whole bunch of um, database calls or even HTTP GET requests, a whole bunch of HTTP GET requests. So now the server is trying to respond with all these HTTP GETs. And again, the applications and the infrastructure and the servers become unresponsive because of the overload of requests to the application. And then so 60, 20, you know, 15 to 20% of the time. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? Now there's certainly things like um, in uh, like DNS type of DDoS attacks. Uh, certainly with IoT, we've seen um, some IoT botnets uh, delivered denial of service attacks and certainly distributed denial of service attacks. Um, coming up, there are going to be such things as you might be reading about Reaper or uh, for IoT. Where do we want to put IoT stuff? Right here, IoT. There are things like Reaper, which is infecting a whole bunch of unsecured uh, IoT devices out there. So your fridges, your thermostats, your coffee machines, your internet connected cameras, those sorts of things. Um, that probably will be sort of like the next bad one. And there's another one called I.O. Troop. Another kind of um, massive uh, malware and then, you know, subsequently uh, probably an IoT botnet that can then deliver distributed denial of service attacks. Now, these things can I think over the last the second quarter of 2017, the longest um, DDoS attack was somewhere around in the neighborhood of 300 hours. So imagine your website being unavailable for 12 and a half days. Uh, we certainly have light boards talking about how F5 can solve this with our Silverline service. And uh, definitely check out the light board on what is a botnet. So, a little bit of basics about DOS, the denial of service, and certainly distributed denial of service attacks. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. I'm Peter, and we'll see you in the community.